Hi, Matt. What's up, Phil? <laughs> you see who we have here? J balls. It's your one. <laughs> Dang it, I used <laughs> you, it up yeah, right you, at the you beginning. You used it way too early. JB. Yeah. This is Jared. This is going to be the back of your brain the whole time. I'm like, regretting just, it. Just one more. Oh, right. I could just you know do what? one more. I'll give you one more. You, yes. All right. I'll save it for later. One more. That yeah. sounds great. Yeah. yeah. Listeners, this is the Jared that you may have heard of in previous episodes. He is yes. a, our uh, good friend and coffee lover. He is one of the most well-read and smartest people I know. And uh, I came to see He also is good at reading. Too. He's also yeah. good at reading. Yeah. They go together. <laughs> yeah. To be well-read well read, it helps if that? you can read. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Thank you for explaining it, Matt. You're welcome. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's Next awesome. time. The on first step to being well-read. <laughs> Can you read? Can you, can you read? read? That's right. If That's you right. can read, you can yeah. be well read. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm learning a lot already. Yeah. That's awesome. That's good. Welcome to Whiskey Bits with Matt and Phil, where we talk all things whiskey and all things comedy. Well, this is a special episode uh, because you love coffee love in the way coffee. that we love bourbon. Yeah. And, uh, so we wanted to have you on to talk to you about some of the amazing coffee techniques yeah. that we just witnessed you can walk us through it's good it was uh, like watching a rocket lift off you know it, was that not it, a good analogy no it was not kind of the thing. opposite of a rocket oh, lift okay off. Right. in fact it takes it's pushing long. down yeah. Going oh down. that's true. yeah it's okay there was <laughs> physics but it yeah. was yeah. reverse yeah. propulsion yeah that's funny mm-hmm. yeah it's okay but you so, brought this coffee what is this i brought this brought coffee for a reason you said i brought it for a reason except it was the wrong reason, so I, I thought it would work really well because you guys love bourbon, right? Like I love coffee. Yes. Hopefully, not to the place of like I drink it at work a lot. So hopefully that's no, not yeah, it's happening. the exact, yeah, the same thing. Same yeah, thing. That, that explains some things. Yep. yep. Um, <laughs> that's why Phil's golf game is just <laughs> horrible. Right. Yeah. I thought it was work because this is, as you can see, it's pink bourbon, Columbia. So I was like, dude, this is like it's aged in a bourbon barrel, which is a thing, and I think like mm-hmm. a month or two ago. I even sent a text to you guys saying, yeah. like, you should try this out. Yeah. Uh, but I, I kind of direct you the wrong way because it's not actually aged in a bourbon barrel. Jared. Which I think Phil and his kindness realized that because he's like, it's good. Uh, but I could tell that like, there's something there he knew, <laughs> but he was just too nice to me. Wait, it's good. He drank it already tonight? No, this was like two months ago. You drank it two months it? ago? Yeah. 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 I have been waiting. You have not. I bought three bags and have waited. It's true. No, no that's, you made there's no way. I made Jared bring yeah, his I'm bags. the guest, and I did everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds yeah. about right. Yep, yeah. that captures our relationship can I borrow, for the last 20 years. Can I borrow yeah. some <laughs> coffee from you? I <laughs> three bags of So, three. and I was telling the guys before uh, we started to, to roll here is that this actually is called bourbon because it comes from an area in Ethiopia called Bourbon, Ethiopia. What? And then it somehow made its way over to Colombia and they don't know how in the last couple of years. <laughs> They're confused. They are confused. And I'm like, who are these people that that's uh-huh. their job? Yeah. But they don't know how it got there, but it's doing super well. And it the the fruit of the berry is pink. And so it's pink bourbon. Okay. Hmm. As zero to do, <laughs> zero to do <laughs> with it. Fair but enough. the thing that... It, it, the reason it worked is that it made it so that we didn't have to do this at nighttime and during the morning, like it's morning time. This yes. is the only way we can make it work because it, it somehow had a connection to bourbon, even though it really didn't. <laughs> I thought you were yeah. like making the coffee. But it stopped me from staying up late. Oh, yeah. Which is, I know. You, know, you go to bed can, at, yeah. Jared's in bed, what, in like an hour? It's nine o'clock. Yeah, I already, bed yeah. Like an hour. It's true. Yeah. Yep. I, I'm already getting close. Yeah. So like, this is actually pretty late for me to be drinking coffee, so... <laughs> Normally it's at four a.m. It's true. Is it really four a.m.? Yeah, that's my first cup. Is in the four o'clock hour. Oh so. my gosh. Yeah. Should we? So it's it's pink. Uh, the the, the, the berries the are fruit. pink before yeah. they get the cherry berry. Yeah. That, isn't that what we the cherry berry that yes, we said it off? We yeah, just said it's, 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 be it's a berry. It's a berry. Yeah. Okay. It's not that's a cherry. cherry. It's, it's not a, the. It's a different fruit. This isn't the monkey poo coffee. No. Okay. No. But that is a real thing. That's a real thing. You were really excited about talking about monkey poop as well. So, well, I, you know, I, well, just you in talked general, about, yeah, in general, monkey poop, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. but I do want to ask you about the monkey poop coffee at sure. some point, yeah, because I don't understand. Like, I want to yeah. get it right. Yeah, later, you're yeah. saving that one, just like the other. I'm gonna save that when I say J balls and say, dang it. <laughs> Can I get a third? Yeah. Can I have a third? You know what? At this point, just, <laughs> as much as you want to. So whatever gets us through. Should we cheers? Cheers? I think cheers. we should try this cheers. thing cheers. before it gets too do cold. Do you cheers for coffee? Why not? I, I do. Here we go. Hey, cheers, Matt. Here we go. Oh, oh there thank you. Go. you. Here we go. That's good. Oh. Well, on the nose. Oh, oh we should nose it. Let's nose it. Nose. I'm getting, uh, it's getting fruity. coffee bean. I get yeah. fruit. a lot of fruit. Yeah, I bet you do. Hmm. <laughs> 
Are you Kentucky chewing the coffee? Mm. Isn't that burning the roof? You of your can, mouth? you can. Uh, this is. Uh, it's been. It's. It's been sitting for a little bit, so it's a little cooler. Holy we can do mother! It. Yeah, it's that is really good. good. I know. Mm-hmm. You're welcome. Ooh, it's very. Thank you. I know. It was in no monkey butts either. To get no to monkey flavor, butts so to get good. to this flavor. See, it proves you don't love need it. to. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I, what are you getting? Uh, I get a lot of fruit. I get. Yeah. The, yeah, oh I get, yeah. There's a lot of fruit in there. Uh, which yeah. fruits? I'm not sure. I do like. There's there's some cherry, but like some tart pink, berry. Yeah, I'm just getting tart. Probably that pink. That pink berry. Probably that mm-hmm. pink yeah, berry. It helps that it's in the title, but that is what people say with it. Is oh, is that, it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Berry? Huh? Pink. Tart? Pink. Oh, the pink berry. Right. So it, yeah. Uh, that's why people love this one is that there's a lot of those. Those. It's uh, more of a blueberry flavors. That's more of a so blueberry good. to me. Yeah. Yeah. You were right. We should do coffee instead of bourbon at nine in the morning. Yeah. That was a good choice. Yeah. 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 Very good. Very good. Yeah. And in the meantime, we're not doing coffee at nine at night either. No. Can you guys drink uh, coffee at night? Can you keep I going? can't do it. Our can't. coffee at night would be an old fashioned. Uh, do you like those? Yeah. It's oh, good. good. I had one last week. Really? Yeah. Fantastic. So you can't like you. Where what's your that? cutoff? What's your cutoff? Six or seven. Okay. Hey, yeah. I'm still pretty. <laughs> Six or seven PM. Yeah. I could do I can still do coffee. Oh, for as coffee. long as it's an espresso. Okay. If I can do it like just a, a little bit just a little pump, then yeah. I'm good to go. I, I I there's no I have no cutoff. You just keep you going. think this is natural? No, this is this is fueled by those the, the latest energy drink of the day. Yeah. Right now for me it's Alani's. It was amino amino whatever those are called before. Now it's those Alani ones and I okay. buy them by the twelve pack. Okay. And uh, and I I'm like it doesn't I don't feel like it affects me, but I'll, on a on a different note I've really been having trouble sleeping at night. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I say note. yeah. I say double down. Double down. Maybe you need more. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You just gotta shock your body a little bit. You just more. Just gotta shock like, it. Shut down. Where it just yeah yeah. Shuts down. Yeah, just keep on mixing you your just, uppers and downers. Yeah, so yeah. just you know. <laughs> oh, it's like it's like uh, what's her name? Wizard of Oz. Yeah. What's her mm. name? I don't know. Yeah. Jody. Jody. Dorothy. Dorothy. Foster. Jodie Foster. Yeah, no, she wasn't. She was, in <laughs> she was, she's in everything. She wasn't she in, was it. in it. The lady who was in The Wizard of Oz, the actress. What's her name? Oh my gosh, Liza Minnelli's mom. What mom? Yes, Judy Garland. Oh, Judy, Judy Garland. Garland. Boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jodie. Yeah. Not- I, I Judy didn't realize Garland. Liza Minnelli had a mom. She's well, so old. Has a I figured it's true. That is true. Speaking of mothers, that is a weird conversation. Is like people that it's weird to think that they have parents. Oh yeah, like. Mm. Like oh yeah they I guess they would have to yeah they're here like Bin Laden there you go I was wow. like I was gonna let you put out the first name so you know I was like where are we gonna go with this so you're like we'll yeah, let him he get did the terrorists we'll is let where him we're going canceled yeah. yeah yeah we're just like man that they were it could have been anybody a disappointment Dave Thomas there you go uh, KFC. The Wendy's guy yeah KFC I mean Wendy's wait <laughs> the Colonel you're thinking of the Colonel Colonel Sanders that's actually a better one though like the Colonel had parents there you go they all had all those Wendy had yeah. parents mm-hmm. Well, Wendy's parents was Dave. <laughs> <laughs> the circle's complete. I am so un- I am so not well read. Yeah, you need to drink more coffee. This is this. just you're yeah. proving how well read you are. It's not often. No, I, just, I, uh, I watched the commercial once, so no. <laughs> yeah. It's not often that I'm the dumbest guy in the room. Uh, today is the exception. Yeah. Oh, me? Oh no, you are the dumbest. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> did I just prove that I'm the yeah. dumbest? Yeah. Kind of. My last name is perfect. Moving on. Yeah. 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 No, yeah. you can absolutely do it. Most of our guests are okay. get pretty annoyed with this, and then yeah. they say, "Okay, I didn't what's say, next?" I felt like I owed, um, I owed you a you're welcome. Oh, okay. <laughs> just in general, because I know that so much of like this is because I said no. <laughs> And then to true you, story. to That's you, right. story. in the same vein, I say I'm sorry. Yeah. So yeah, I, feel like I forgive you. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Thank you, and I forgive you. Yeah. Yes. 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 I, I Thank you. That. Yeah. And I'm offended. Yeah. Uh, no. So one of the things that we get into when we're talking about the bourbon oh, is, is how it's made. Yes. And uh, and how it's crafted and that uh-huh. sort of thing. So obviously we know we know the coffee bean comes from. Uh, it sounds like it comes from Ethiopia. Yeah. It sounds like it comes from a coffee cherry. It sounds like it comes True. from Colombia yeah. by way of Ethiopia in some sort of way. Yeah. But uh, tell us how you how you prepared this cup of coffee because it was quite oh, yeah. In- yeah. interesting to watch. Yeah. With love, 
Mm. Uh, there was lots of love. It. I can Most, taste yes. it. Yeah, it was like ninety percent love. Is, I can taste. I can taste the, I can love? Taste the love. Is that a weird thing to say? <laughs> no. The three D. No, I taste. I tasted it. Tasted yeah, the love. Yeah, your yeah. own love. There's some florals and love in there. Tasted so, your yeah. own love. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I use, and you can see, I use an AeroPress. Mm-hmm. So the AeroPress was designed by the guy who made the Arobi. Yeah. Which. I think is this one of the best fun facts. What the heck so is the guy, the Arobi is that frisbee came out in the '90s that goes like a Forever. thousand feet, oh. and like kids would throw, and they're like, "Well, now it's gone." Well, I it's gone. It. I gotta it's buy gone. a new it's one. In the woods, and that which is a great, great business, business model, hundred <laughs> percent. Like, yeah, they one just throw kept selling and, out. Like, right. Dad, I lost my Arobi. What? You just got it. I one throw. Wow. I think one you should throw, throw a picture up of the Arobi right here. Ah, dang it! Can yeah, you do I this? Mean, yeah, it's just it looks like yeah, yeah. Another viral clip. Yeah, yeah that's, that's it. That's, that's right. what we'll do. So, we should tag John again, though. <laughs> Let's we tag John. <laughs> that, he's not even in it. <laughs> so the guy designed the aerobi and he mm-hmm. was tired of having to drink junky coffee unless he went to like a really good coffee shop because mm-hmm. he wanted that uh, uh, espresso flavor, which we can talk about what that actually means if you want to. And sure. so he designed something that does the exact same with the high pressure and temperature uh, with uh, what is it like eighteen bucks for this thing? Yeah, and so it's Ooh. it's physics. Nice, maybe. And then oh no, it, chemistry. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, like you're, you're pressing it slowly down. That's why it's the press. You're pressing it down slowly. The pressure hits the the coffee beans at this perfect amount based off the way that's designed. You heat your beans between two hundred to two twelve. That's the perfect. It's the perfect wheelhouse. Any hotter, you're burning your beans. Any less, and you're not pulling out the oils. Okay. I feel really nerdy right now, and I don't care. So I'm, just, I'm like, yeah. how do you know what the right temperature is? So I mean, that's you that have little the, machine down there. That it one? actually, oh, there it is. The gadget. Oh, it's up here, yeah. So that that heats it to a perfect temperature. So that's. Uh, you, so you, it. How does it know the water temperature though? There's a little. There's a, little, a readout. Yeah, a little oh. readout. There, yeah. So that pot actually is a part of. The whole. part of the thing <gasps> yeah wow. so I, I do mine to 206 that's my like in-between. you're like you know what 205 Split wasn't as diff. good no 205 was true. not good you, you get me 205 is sucks. It's horrible yeah it's the 207 uh, what are you an amateur yeah no you can't do 207 what are you, true. you stupid yeah it's too hot but 206 yeah. 206 yeah yeah right on so that's my temp that that I, I mean it does taste really i mean it's there perfect yeah because i hate when i go for a cup of coffee you know and you're like you, t- you literally, uh, how many times have we done this? We're sitting there, we're sipping for like three hours, and then you finally get it. I burn my freaking mouth every yeah. time. It doesn't yeah. even. Yeah. 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 Or that was it's a bit. I was trying it. Or it's it just way, <laughs> way too cold by the time you get to it. You're like, this is disgusting. Yeah. How do I warm this up? And you cannot put it in a microwave. And it's tr- any of your true. dads ever get ice cubes? They order a coffee yeah. and get an ice cube. Oh, my- they'll, they'll pull it out of the, the ice water and oh. just one my- cube and. Dad got it from my step grandpa, who used he used to get six pieces of ice. Yeah, six, mm-hmm. and he would make them at McDonald's. Make them go count six yeah. pieces of ice. Yeah, that's so awesome. I'm sure they weren't anything else to it either. Like, no. yeah, we'll get your six. We got you six yep. pieces yep. of ice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yep. yeah. There you go. There's some frozen. <laughs> get out the frozen spit cubes. They just grab it with their bare. Yeah, hand. their bare hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now my dad's like one piece of ice. That's the magic um, number. That's in it, yeah. I'm like, huh, yeah. How do you and that, maybe that's your stick is like everyone thinks that they know the perfect cup of coffee. That's right. Yeah, when we talk one. about the coffee joke, how do we do right? it? There could only be one. There could only be one. There could only be one coffee? Ooh, like perfect. one best coffee. Yeah. But everyone thinks they know everyone what it is. Everyone thinks they know yeah. what it is. Speaking of ice cubes, so a good thing to do in the summer if you make like a, if you make cold, um, you know, like a, a cold press at home, Oh. you can actually take and make ice cubes with the coffee. Yes. Freeze them yeah. and then add Genius. them as you go. Because mm. unlike alcohol, that's life hack. coffee freezes. It's true. Yeah. yeah. It's alcohol true. doesn't. Answer. The more yeah. you know. The more. Oh, there we go. There uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I've watched the show. <laughs> I've watched the show. <laughs> that's why I'm on my own chair. You're our viewer on YouTube. I know. That's Sweet. right. Yep. Our viewer. Oh, one viewer. Well, if your kids won't watch it, someone has to. So. That's true. Cora yeah. does not. She's that's like, true. can you turn yeah. this off? Yeah. We heard that one. I did. Too? Man, he is really meta. He's really listened to it. Oh, yeah. I'm so yeah. honored. Yeah. yeah. That's we awesome. should ask our wives to watch it. They won't. They will not. They don't like it. No. They'll maybe listen. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. My my wife, like, um, she pre saw the hammy. She's like, I'm not listening, just so you know. I'm like, I didn't ask you to. She's like, I know, but you might have. She, that sounds yeah. like Lindsay. It did. Did yeah. she actually yeah. say that? Yeah. <laughs> That's so good. Yeah. We got to get her. I'm like, yeah. Did you listen to the episode? Yeah. You don't want her on your show. The, I 
She'll break you down. I like this became <laughs> a drama. <laughs> Matt has now abandoned his stand up career and actually moved to Guam uh, yeah. to uh, assist yeah. in an orphanage. That's true. Uh, we're not yeah. exactly sure why. Yeah. But, uh, yep. Oh, wow. Yep. That's awesome. Well, this is really good yeah. coffee, dude. Yeah. Thanks for having me, guys. Yeah, that's yeah. it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, coffee that's isn't the not... only thing. So, Jared's well read. He yeah. is also, I, don't know, I still don't know what well read means. Uh, for real no i'm not even joking um but he's a real what i know is he's a very good writer i wish i would have had the definition of well read and then i would have been like i don't know what it means and then state the definition yeah Yeah, i think the answer is i'm actually not a good writer you just aren't well read and you (laughs) you've read some of my stuff like this is good writing (laughs) be like you know it'd be like if this is if good writing is this cup of coffee My writing is, is uh, Dunkin' Donuts that you Dunkin find on the side of the road. With, without, six, spi- yeah. without six pieces of ice. Yeah. Um, no, so, <laughs> yeah, I don't even know how we got on the topic. This was years ago. Yeah. Uh, you know, I do some some acting stuff, and, and we got on when you – the the last time you said yes. Yeah, to that's me. true. <laughs> was uh, we wrote a screenplay. Eight, eight years ago. Eight years, yeah. yeah. Was it that yeah. long ago? It shows how great it went. More? No, it was longer eight than years? that. Ten. There it is. Oh, there it is. There it is. We wrote a movie. Oh, it's called Bigfoot. Probably. Now, it's not your typical Bigfoot movie. This is... Yeah. Uh, I haven't opened this in a long time. Yeah, dude. So we... we, we uh, I don't even... How did it get started? I don't even remember. What was... um, I feel like you, you've you always kind of liked this kind of stuff. You've always loved stories. You've always loved yeah. myth. And I'm not... I was, I was thinking about it too before, before today. Remember. And I feel like we were just hanging out one day and you're like, dude, like... Bigfoot's pretty crazy. Have you ever like heard some of the myth yeah. around it? You were kind of at that point. You're into like all the different states having like their thing. Yeah, the different creatures. And yeah. All that. So yeah, we had yeah. So we we kind of we got together and like I am admittedly not the best person at like dialogue and stuff, um, but I'm good at like like I'm good at like thinking of a story. And one of the things that I noticed, and maybe it was I was watching. Oh no, this is what it was. My buddy uh, a long time ago. We were watching that show. Um, finding Bigfoot. Yeah, that's and right. we just yeah, thought it yeah. was it was yeah. a funny thing, and I realized I was like, you know, no one has never made a Bigfoot movie that isn't um, just a slasher or yeah. like a, a thriller kind of murder thing. No one has never. No one has never. No one is has that never. bad? No one has ever. <laughs> I was, gonna, I was gonna let it go. I was like, maybe he said, "No, ever. Done, no never done, no, make no, no, no movie." There, there it is. The there we southern, go. Now we're making we fun of the southern people. There we go. At least once great. an episode, I make fun of them. Yeah. You make fun of somebody, yeah. some somebody. general group yeah. of people. Um, so great. yeah, so we're like, oh, what if, what if it was like, well, okay, what if the question, main question we had, the main question of the whole story is, what if Bigfoot was real? How would that actually, what would that actually have to be like? Like, how have we not found a, a hairy, you know, with brown hair in the middle of a green forest? How have we not found this dude that's mm-hmm. like, you know, seven feet, eight feet tall? And yeah. so he'd have to have some sort of intelligence and he'd mm-hmm. have to have survival skills and understand culture and language. So like we crafted it around that idea. And then we started digging into like history. Yeah. Like Teddy Roosevelt was a big character in the in the screenplay. So that yeah, yeah it was a lot of fun. I a really lot liked of it. Fun and good memories. And Jared is such a good freaking writer. Like, um, you know, like writing a screenplay is different than a novel as far as the format and and how you write it. But mm-hmm. like the dialogue and the characters. I mean, I don't even know. Like, I feel like we just kind of like you, you. You wrote kind of like even some of it in novel form. Mm-hmm. And well, then I think we did. Kind of and we we have to, and that was where you came in of just taking it and making it more screenplay because I had right. no idea what to do with that. And that was your, that was I your, don't that, was, <laughs> that was your, that was your, uh, your movie buff coming out. So, yeah. But it, I, my, my best memories from it were just late nights writing it. Oh. Yeah, it was good, man. It was, it was fun. Good. It was That's good. That's why I asked you to do the yeah, podcast. Yeah, it was good. It was good. Hey, no. Yeah. So it was. Uh, that was that was the fun part was just putting it together and seeing how. Like that's yeah. what's amazing about stories is you don't know where they're going. Yes. I remember being surprised. Like I can't believe this character is doing something like this. I'm like I'm I'm writing this. Like, yeah, that's yeah, weird. yeah. I know it's it sounds weird, awesome. but unless you're in the moment. That was some of the things. And I remember like you would be on the dock making changes. Yeah. And like, oh, yeah. it's a good idea. So we were doing that back and forth, which I think is unique to have multiple people doing that and yes. that it worked. Mm-hmm. So that was it was yeah. uh it was good. I do remember when you were trying to talk me into doing this. The Bigfoot? Writing the yeah, the screenplay. Okay. We rented a boat on um oh, oh, it's a lake, uh, oh, uh, in Crystal Lake. Yeah, not yeah, yeah. not in Crystal Lake, but on uh, Three Oaks. Three Oaks. Yeah. And we went out for the day just to like talk about like what this would look like and I'm 
The, their boats have like it's like a two horsepower oh, boat yeah. and it was super windy and we got stuck out in the middle, yes. the middle of this lake I'm like Matt we're not riding this anyway because we're never getting out of this they lake. had to like, come save yeah, us didn't it was, they it was something so <laughs> that's funny yeah but I remember we we talked it out and that's where we really just had like we could do this yeah. we can make it something that's cool so. and we, we made a what I call a pitch trailer mm, we did. so we shot that with a guy Matt Billen who um, he did this movie Heaven Quest uh, which was a Pilgrim's Progress type thing. He's he does tons of short films. I really liked him because he's really good at like lighting and DP and like director of photography. Like he's very very good yeah. at, at that. And so um, and I was like, well, I just want to direct it and I want to have somebody else film it. Mm-hmm. And so we shot it out in like this patch of forest at our old church, and it was actually really cool. And, like yeah. that was fun to like Jared was there like being on set. And we hired an yeah. actor and yeah. yeah, so it was just cool. It was like. Like, I love acting. I love, you know, all of that stuff and the whole process. But this, to me, I was like, I had done a movie, like, years ago that I wrote, and it just was not. I mean, it's okay. But yeah. But this was like, I'm like, this is actually good. And yeah. then we, for a while, like, we were trying to get it funded and, like, had started making some connections with actors and yeah. actresses and producers. And Yeah, where's that at? <laughs> Nowhere. No. Uh, I, I know. <laughs> no, I know. Well, like, every now and then, no joke, every now and then. Uh, Donna, so this lady, Donna, Donna, Donna Smith, Donna Smith, she produced oh, like man. Terminator and like she was, uh, uh, she was a producer at um, Universal or mm-hmm. something for, in like the eighties and nineties, mm-hmm. and so she's done a ton of movies and through some connection, uh, I got I met her and then she like liked it and all, I don't know it was weird I think she just wanted company yeah <laughs> so, somebody to talk like, to. I haven't done anything since the 90s yeah yeah but like yeah. she you know was kind of like entertaining the idea of trying to get it funded but every now and then like every like year or two i'll yeah, get a random out. email yeah. from them yeah. like hey i never met her or saw her i always picture her to look like joey tribbiani's uh <laughs> manager like Man- joey joey i got something for you I like i always be like matt I, Man, got, I found someone I found from the 90s who's interested in your movie. His like, name's James Cameron. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever heard of him? Yeah. Your movie's missing some blue people, and I think it'll really go. I think you need to have Bigfoot should be blue. Make him blue. We'll get Blue Man Group to yeah. do a press. Yeah. It'll there be you great. Go. Yeah. That, you know, hey, there's, there's something there. You, what two movies would just, if you merge them together... Like Avatar, Avatar meets Bigfoot meets Bigfoot, oh, or Avatar yeah. meets Blue Man Group. I mean, yeah. not not far off. <laughs> I was going <laughs> Blue Man Group. I mean, he's just up on the stage beating yeah. on a drum. Yeah, there you go. Is that Bigfoot? <laughs> yeah, Bigfoot. He's playing. He's really he's yeah. got some rhythm. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, he's there all along. Avatar. I mean, he was in the city. It was just, it was just <laughs> painted blue. <laughs> That's why we didn't see him. He's painted blue. Yeah. Uh, I'm just thinking Arrested Development. Uh, yeah, uh, blue. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's yeah. cool. Never yeah. Um, so, uh, you know, our to give you an idea of the the feel of it, because mm-hmm. um, you're not going to read it. I would love to. We should do no. an audiobook. You don't I have, but not, it's, I don't have it's, to not well read. It's yeah. National Treasure meets Indiana Jones meets mm. like uh, Incredible Hulk um, meets like a historical fiction. Like yeah. So like Night at the Museum. Uh, it's not like that. It was more mm. national. It was more Indiana Jones National Treasure. Okay. Yeah. Not like not the museum. goofy. I mean, there's some funny elements in it, but I think now, like, what would I do different now? I would go probably punch it up a little bit. Okay. Mm. But not too much because I, I think some of the superhero movies get too goofy and then you kind of lose mm. it. But I don't know. I think it's, the story's pretty good. Yeah. It's pretty darn good. It was pretty good. I like it. Yeah. I would. I mean, I think. I would describe it as it's it's bringing in something that's like built into Americana. Yeah. That everyone kind of wants to believe. In fact, I was talking to someone this week who believes in Bigfoot. Oh, there's all oh, And got- I I almost I got myself into a bad spot cuz I, I started to make fun of them and they weren't feeling it. <laughs> and I'm like, I actually wrote a screenplay about it and they and they were very interested, but then when they realized that like I that it wasn't that maybe I do believe in Bigfoot after real. talking to this person, but like this person was like no like the bigfoot's out there so i but i think that that is the cool part about yeah. it because no one's like wolverine's out there or superman's out mm. there but like what I, I, <laughs> you are dang it yeah. jared <laughs> people believe that bigfoot's out there yeah. and so we try to put it into story that does exist so like 
Teddy Roosevelt mm-hmm. establishing the national parks, things mm-hmm. that have gone on in the Badlands over the last hundred years, mm-hmm. things with fracking. Mm-hmm. So we're like building it into all of these systems that are real because if Bigfoot was here, yeah, intertwining, he could have some impact. Yeah, intertwining history with with fiction is always an interesting thing. Yeah. Like whenever you mix it, and like, yeah. um, but I love what Jared's saying is there's so many people that have that belief, but nobody was ever really. I don't want to say monetizing because it sounds like oh they're just trying to make money off of it. Um, but it was like, yeah, nobody like it, it's it's a it's a already widely accepted genre kind mm-hmm. of yeah. that you wouldn't have to like let people know what it is. Like yeah. they already know what it is. But what was funny is that you know on our page, like I would create the, the Facebook page, yeah. and you would get some people that would like, oh yeah, be like, this is not how they act. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, yeah. okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like. Calm down. Mm. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. Yeah, it is. Well, and speaking of, so there's that residual of you know, like, you know, like you can you can get this on Amazon, and there's the Facebook page. Mm-hmm. And then our names are attached to it. Yeah. And so I was gonna. Have you had anyone like talk to you like, hey, like you're that guy? Because I've had people. <clears throat> no, nobody likes me. Find <laughs> you brought you have a bigger you have a bigger online foot than I do. Yeah, no, nobody footprint than I do. Yeah, foot your foot's. I got a bigger feet. I'm like a yeah. size ten and a half yeah. wide. Oh. Yeah, you're ten and a half Why? wide. You are Bigfoot. Hobbit feet. <laughs> uh, but I, so I took on a, a new job this year, and so people were like researching to find out about me. <laughs> that's and what they found. That's what they found. That and so like I heard awesome. through the grapevine, like people were like, yeah, like this guy that got hired, like he wrote a Bigfoot screenplay. And I'm like, you're welcome. Oh my gosh. Yes. So, yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. No, that's cool that people recognize you yeah well the, you know the name well but that's awesome i'm not like if people come up like will you sign this or it's just, you know <sighs> not, I, now they will yeah, it's true i think it's true now like they will. i heard you on whiskey bits yeah <laughs> <laughs> that was your, that said, be funny. No, said no one said ever no one yeah. ever yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like some podcasts they joke like yeah smart list they're like oh our listener they yeah. have like they're like the number one podcast yeah. ever yeah. yeah and i'm like no we have or never we have no we actually have there's some that people that I've talked to that that I know that are like every time, they just are dead. They just listen to every episode. I'm like, dude. Well, tell that person. Brooks. Thank you. Thanks, Brooks. <laughs> yeah. Well, I know even because outside of us, I don't yeah. think there's. What did your mom say about it? Your mom loves the podcast. What did she say? She loved it. She absolutely loved that I was on it and uh, said it was kind of boring. <laughs> <laughs> but your mom got all the way through, uh, unlike your three year old. So. Right, yeah. yeah. Well, I thought you were going to be like, my mom because she's not alive. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. And again. this is when we switch to bourbon. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and and time for the downer. Time for the downer. Time for the downer. Thank, downer. For the downer. Thank you, Matt, for that. Yeah. So, yeah, this always. is really good coffee. Um, mm-hmm. we, well, uh, last thing about that, we actually came up with a whole anthology. So it's strategically, really? yes, yeah, strategically, so one one flop is not enough. This one flop is not enough. <laughs> strategically, like when something doesn't take off, yeah, you should probably create yeah. an anthology. double, triple, quadruple down. Yeah, keep going. Yeah, maybe we need more mythical creatures. Yeah, well, there are. Every state has one. It's true. And so we're like, it's like well, their state bird. Yes, same thing. Yes, exactly the same. Yeah. And and so we're like, well, what are they? And like they would they would there's a bigger storyline here of like. You know that maybe some are good maybe some are not good mm-hmm. and so we we kind of planned out like kind of like the avengers so you have all okay. the individual movies and then yep. they come together and it's called the legends anthology yep. with all the different ones yeah. so you have like chupacabra, chupacabra you have yeah you have the Love yeti Ness. which in our story the Love yeti is an el- uh would have been a an albino an albino boy. baby that that would essentially these don't na- give it away because it's like no, the movie comes a, up. it's a first scene Native American tribes <laughs> were cursed and so they uh, tra- changed the pregnant women's babies they cursed the babies and they became these creatures yeah and they just sent them off well one of those babies would have been albino so they sent him off and he went north and all that that's when oh, we get the okay. idea yeah. okay. so but but we have all these other creatures and we thought oh somebody is going to try to exploit them and use them for power mm-hmm. and so that's this whole idea or of for like, coolers like the Yeti coolers or for coolers yeah, yeah. yeah that's really it's, what it is it's, it's really big advertising the money or Yeti it's, or monster it's, trucks like they did yeah, Bigfoot. Big yeah. 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 yeah, Bigfoot. Do you remember that? Yes. Remember that game? Monster trucks. Yes. Remember that Bigfoot game? No. No. Okay. Is it a video game? Yeah, on the computer. Sorry, too old. But yeah, so it was like this whole thing. We had a whole plan. It was awesome. <laughs> yeah. Maybe Good someday. Memories. Maybe someday. Maybe someday. I think we should turn it in. I, I legit think we should like make it novel form. And maybe it's just doing what I'm already doing with yeah. the chat GPT. Yeah, I was going to say, if only there was some If only sort there was of... some AI. But yeah. like... I. 
I was like, oh, well, it, you know, Jared would like that, and I wouldn't want to take that away from you, but yeah. I don't know if you're... Turn it into it? Yeah, a novel. Just do it. Just do it. But then, like, you could, you know, you'll look at it, and maybe it'll be... Because, like, my buddy John, mm-hmm. he wrote... John Wenzel, he has the Peter Pan books. Yeah. I mean, he legit wrote those from nothing. Yeah. And they're actually really good. Yeah. Except he kills my character, I think, in every single one of them. Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't read into that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, now that I yeah. think about it, yeah, like, uh, what a jerk. Senselessly, too. Well, yeah, I, I, I think, quick. yeah, just that guy right away. <laughs> they gave me like a really inspiring backstory and just offed me in the yeah. first yeah. scene. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hopefully it carries through the rest of the yeah. novel. No, I think that's the last time they talked about it. <laughs> Yeah. They're like, remember that guy? Who? Barely. <laughs> barely. Barely. <laughs> remember the first chapter? Yeah. How, yeah. uh, what do you, I don't know. <laughs> that was one of, that was, that was the one and only time you will ever yeah. see Matt filter himself. It's true. <laughs> yeah. No, I was going to yeah. ask, how do you it's keep your un- coffee warm? But that's just a dumb question. Because <laughs> like I have I said, this, you have this mug, I have this mug, it's got the aluminum, and it, yeah. it keeps it hot, like, almost all yeah. day. I mean, I don't yeah. know. Do you reheat? Do you, but like, will you reheat Ooh. your coffee like in a no, mug in the microwave? No. Well, you just throw it out. Uh, I I drink it. You just usually drink yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. See, I'm famous for personal problem. Well, it is. <laughs> I'm famous for getting cups of coffee and like drinking like a like a quarter of it, and yeah. then it, it's cold and I'm yeah. done. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just pour some energy drink in it; and it'll be fine. Well, yeah. <laughs> it's still really good, as it's oxidated. Yeah, it's opening up. <laughs> it's really opening up. <laughs> Are you feeling closer or not closer to your coffee, like, joke? You're, you know. Oh, I you feel mean? further away. For- <laughs> yeah. No, I think I think you hit it, though. I think it's like, what are... Everybody thinks that they can make the perfect cup of coffee. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a thing. Yeah. Is that funny? Well, that's just a, an observation. Yeah. Uh, the other observation is how people order their coffee yeah. says a lot about the person. Yeah. Yeah, it could. It could. Yeah, you know, it could be like similar to like uh, the types of pets that people have. Yeah, like kind of like says something about who they are. Like yeah. people look like their pets. Not in yeah. your case necessarily, but like yeah. people look like their pets. Phil definitely looks like his labradoodle. Oh I thought you were his chickens. Golden. You look oh. like your chickens. Yeah. 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 Or a peacock. Yeah. Appreciate you. <laughs> you look like the peacock. Yeah, the peacock's Wonderful. name. Have you guys talked about the peacock? Curtis. Curtis, Curtis. the peacock. Have we yeah. talked about Curtis? I don't the, think so. His, we should talk about Curtis. He's neighbors to a peacock named Curtis. <laughs> yep. That's a real sentence. Yep. That yep. is a real yeah. sentence. Yeah. It's a true statement. Like, true I, statement. When you told me his name is Curtis, I'm like, that's the... <laughs> I didn't know until now, but that's the best name for a peacock. It's really it the is. only thing... you don't thing... know, on the drive home that day, I thought the whole time about, like, is there a better name for a peacock? <laughs> There I is really no did. better name. And there's yeah. not a better name. Like, no. It's Curtis. It's Curtis. Curtis yeah, it is an objective fact. Put that into AI. It'll be like, no, it's Curtis. It's Curtis. That's right. We, <laughs> we checked. It, yeah, what's yep. the best name for a peacock? Is Curtis, Curtis a good name for a peacock? Wow, that's funny. Yeah. yeah. I love that kind of humor. Yeah. Like, that's just a funny thing. Like, is there a better name for a peacock? And just like getting lost in that question. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. What would be? But that's, it's very Curb Your Enthusiasm. Yeah. Seinfeld yeah. but it's, I like that kind of it's stuff. It's better than how do you keep your coffee warm? You know That's what? Sure. You know what? Um, <laughs> you should have just let it go. I should have. Yeah. It was and then when in doubt, we were... monkey poop. Monkey I mean, poop. You know, yeah. <laughs> do we have time to ask about the monkey poop? I feel like we do. Uh, Hold on. Well, are we going to check that again? Why podcast. didn't we just change it before? I mean, no one, no one watches. Does it matter how long we're it good. goes? We're good. No, I just want to make it's sure. just the three of us talking in the basement with live microphones. <laughs> so. <laughs> All right, so well, thanks for breaking that down for us, yeah. Jared. It was great having you. You started it. This was the last episode of Whiskey Hits. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the, the run. No, we it got turns out five, we're just three years. guys. We got another five, six years. Huh? Sitting around drinking coffee. That's right. Um, from a microphone <laughs> in a basement. So monkey poo coffee. Yeah. I've never had it. Oh, but what the heck is it? Because I've said it in a joke and people are like, huh? Yeah. But it's a monkey that eats a coffee cherry. There's a. I'm not. I don't actually know what country it comes from. I'll think of that in a second. But there's a an area that there are monkeys that eat the coffee beans. The bean they, or like the fruit that the, the coffee. Well, yeah, it's the it was yeah it starts the fruit because that's different. They're not roasting. That'd be impressive. Like, they're like monkeys that could roast them <laughs> and they roast them in, like, in their in their butts. So yeah. <laughs> They're so roasting they, them. These are they're butt roasted. roasted. Here's your joke. Butt roasted. So, <laughs> <laughs> that's one of those things where like people know that it comes through 
Like if you buy that coffee, it's expensive. You know, like yeah, this this yeah. has been in a this was through a monkey. But like they have to decide like how obvious can we be <laughs> about that on the thing like before we like stop if, selling. <laughs> if they put on the front of the the package like butt roasted, <laughs> would yes. they still sell? Uh, there's got to be a line. There's a certain so? niche yes. I think of people that would buy that. They're like, they would understand been, what that I've been waiting. I've been waiting for this. I've been, waiting, I've been, waiting, I've been for, looking for it. I've heard about it. So how yeah. do they label it? I don't. They don't label it monkey poo. That's even more. I, th- I thought they did. No. Well then, I feel then like that's great. I so feel wait, like they have wait, wait. to. They can't like. So hold on, hide it. somewhere. No one can you be afterwards like, oh yeah, we forgot the to tell monkey, you. The monkey. Yeah. This was in a monkey's butt. Right. It's not just in the butt though. The monkey eats the cherry. Yep. Goes through the system, which wraps. You know, it must because the 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 coffee. Nut is it a nut? Mm-hmm. The bean, yep, is in the, the fruit. The fruit, yeah, it's and like an apple. Like inside an apple are right. So just with a coffee bean, it's more nut than anything. So there's very little like fruit on the outside. So it's just on the inside so, are these two two parts. So they're chewing. I mean, they could potentially have chewed it. I mean, it's gonna yeah do something to that bean. So anyways, so but it's something about their stomach acid, right? Yes, the way it breaks it, so the what it adds to it or the yeah. way it breaks it down mm-hmm. or something that yeah. has. Flavor. Yeah. Maybe there's another animal that would be even better. Have, have they tried this? Yeah. What other is there stomach a, acids? Is there a better animal than a monkey? Like that... a peacock. There we go. Maybe I do the not want to go rooting through peacock poop <laughs> to find. Do you think what peacock poop yeah. is like multicolored? Uh, <laughs> I there's no answer to that yeah. question. Yeah, he'll get back to you. <laughs> there's no answer like, to that question. Glitter poo. This is cool. <laughs> So if it chews it up, and I was actually thinking about this the other day. This, Where you, Phil? I really was. Really? Yeah. I really was. Because it was really like, you guys have eaten like corn on the cob, right? Yeah. Yeah. How in the world is a corn uh, corn um, the kernel? Oh, the kernel. Oh, yeah. How does it reconstitute itself as it goes through your stomach and your small intestines? Do you, Because then you the next day. You want to talk about? <laughs> there's clearly corn. Yeah. It's almost and like, it doesn't look like it's chewed. No. It looks like it's reconstituted kernels of corn. Yeah. Is this the same thing that happens with the bean? I mean, it's just, it's not, yeah, it's the inside of your body is not, it's not taking nutrients from it, so it's not breaking it down, or it can't right. break down. I don't know. It's something with... Exactly. Like, corn literally has barely any nutrients, I There's think. There's none. Right? Like, it's just, it tastes good. Yeah. But I chew it. Well, maybe it you should go, go to the away. dentist and get some teeth instead this of is, gumming your corn. <laughs> These are the things that keep you up at night. It sounds they are. like I really do yeah. wonder. And you have a good life. Like, though. what's it going to look you like in good, the morning? What's it going to look can, like? I can hear it moving around in there. I just wonder if it's going to happen same day. Like that's that. My goal is same day. Same day. Then I'll, then I know. Yeah, yeah. exactly how regular I am. We're talking about we a lot of things today. This is good. We're gonna poop get cycles. as much as we can into <laughs> yeah. Jared's time. We really gotta, gotta pack cycles. it in. Yeah, yeah. I gotta pack it poop in. Cycles oh. are important. Have you ever been it, impacted? It's like Doctor Oz used to do like whole like uh, multiple episodes on your poop cycle. Really? Yeah. That's how that's the, how you got famous. Yeah. The poops Maybe were we should do that. Yeah. yeah. Turns out that's what whiskey bits is. <laughs> 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 Turns out it's a poop show. <laughs> We're back to I just poop. think it's fascinating that, that somebody yeah. the the joke that I was working on is who figured this out? The, the monkey first the monkey poop. Yes, the first yeah. guy. Yeah, like who's like hmm. observing the monkey? Probably some person they're observing him and yeah. studying him. Yeah. Oh, they ate the cherry. Yeah. Okay. Or like maybe they don't know what yeah. does this monkey eat? What's their yeah. diet like? So they pick through. Oh, it's coffee. Yeah. Oh, the the bean is intact. Yeah, it's just probably it, 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 you know secretly in his lab. He's like, I wonder if you yeah. can roast this. and yeah. if it would taste yeah. weird. Yeah, mm-hmm. and that's he's like, turns out, cusp- but this is the best thing I've ever had. <laughs> what is that? I just say? A, da- a dare. He said by cusp. How, how many of the things are a dare? Where it's like, oh, this is actually a good. Dare like think about yeah. the amount of things out there that someone had to try for the first time out of a dare. Milk. Like someone Milk. Someone saw it, like think about what like a, what a lobster looks like. And someone's like, I'm gonna eat that. <laughs> I dare you. Like that's yeah. But you horrifying. know they probably didn't did they cook it the first time? These like they're just, just like, like yeah. So I've learned a few things. Don't just eat it raw. Uh, also lobster. don't eat it raw with the shell on. Um <laughs> you gotta de shell it. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. uh yeah. Have you had crawfish? Crawfish is good. I, you know what I love is soft shell crab. Oh so good. So good. <laughs> You can because you can eat the shell, kind of. Yeah. I don't think you're supposed to eat the shell. No, soft shell crab. Oh, you, you do. Eat, you do. Yeah, you eat the yeah. whole thing. Yeah, you okay. fry it because they just fry the whole crab. Okay, oh, that's good. You eat it. I okay. want Chinese food. 
Like, <laughs> We usually do this. And now we'll we're usually back to have, cycle. We'll cycle. usually have a, a conversation going, and then it'll be like, it'll remind us of something. And then we're like usually we're talking about poop, and then it'll remind us about something that tastes good. Yeah. And then we'll think about, we want to go eat something. Yeah. Dude, do you think I if have. you ate a soft-shell crab, <laughs> would the soft-shell crab come out whole? Would Absolutely it reconstitute not. itself? 100% no. It's like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes Hello. It feels, sometimes it feels like that. Yeah. <laughs> well, this was that's, fun, Jared. Thanks good. for good. Yeah. Thanks for coming, talking about so many things. I don't know what yeah. we talked about. That was I, I, I blacked out. Yeah. I, I'm. The coffee is delicious. Coffee I think we should really have another good. one of these. Good. Did I'll it? make another one. Yeah. If can you just come over maybe every sure. morning? Sure. Yeah. It actually probably be better for you know, me. Four I'm o'clock. Available. He'll be here four thirty tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I just made what are you up. doing tomorrow morning at four thirty? <laughs> oh, that's a funny question. <laughs> He'll just be going to bed. It's true. We cross. We we've talked about this. We cross over for like two hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is where <laughs> we we're cross at. over. Man, yeah, that's right. Bed, that's where we're like, well, we got a two-hour window because I'm going like, to bed. So we, yeah, we do. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we do one of those. Yeah, it's true. You know. Yeah. yeah well, thanks, well, guys. This is great. Thanks Thank for you, bringing the coffee. Yep. Thanks for coming on here. And thanks for saying no. You got it anytime. You know what I'm going to say? J balls. <laughs> Nailed it. Whiskey J balls. Wh- no, well, not whiskey J ball. Wow. Uh, whiskey bits. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Next time on Whiskey Bits. There's two carts in front of us. And then you look out across the rest of the golf course, and there is no less than eight to ten more carts just sitting out there <laughs> yeah. with people on them and you're like where are you playing and like, i was what, like what, what you, holes are you on even? i thought is there like an outdoor movie that started or something because they're all just <laughs> lined up sitting there i got to the little monoc- mo- monocle or monocular whatever that's called monocular is that what it's called it's <laughs> it's called a rangefinder. okay well it's got one it's got mono coolers so i looked through the one cooler and saw the people and I was like they're not doing anything they're just literally just sitting there mm-hmm. I think maybe they ha- had died they were they were waiting for somebody else in front of them but it was just wild to see all of those people just out there um, just and and leaving their golf balls just wherever they hit them I'll take them it was yeah. we got a Nike you did yep we found nobody, apparently song. nobody likes that Shrixon Shrixon yeah, that was the one that had the two two colors yeah I like that's yeah. helpful for me because I yep. can find it yeah it was, that was helpful hey thanks for tuning in to Whiskey Bits please like share and subscribe wherever you watch or listen to podcasts <laughs>